Manu, call the tender. Yes, Mama. And quit calling her that. Why does it bother you so much? <laughs> Seriously? We are here at Floyd County Productions where they make Archer. This is Eric Warren and Courtney Hicks, and they are the photo reference team. So guys, why does an animated show need photos? Actually, Archer is one of the most detailed shows on, on television right now. So for every drawing that you see on the show, we've probably taken about 10 to 50 photographs per drawing. That way, all of our artists are on the same page. Mm -hmm. uh, and by the end of an episode, we've probably taken around 10,000 photographs. Wow. Right. It helps uh, keep the anatomy consistent for all the illustrators to make sure the style stays the same format. And it just helps as a tertiary animation just to see how actions can play through. Cool. Do you guys mind showing me how you do it? Sure. Not at Great. all. The scene we have prepared is Cyril jumping out of an airplane. We can't really do that, so we're going to have Courtney get up on the ladder, and I'm going to act like an idiot on a chair. <laughs> Great. Our photo team and customers actually dress up in the outfits that we've prepared for Archer and the gang to wear. They take photos of different poses for our illustrators to work from. We get to see those breaks in the pants or the way the lapel is shaped, and by using photo references, we can accurately translate that into a drawing. Well, after the photo reference team is done doing what they do, they pipe it on over to the illustration guys. And I'm here with the illustration director, Fernie Vasquez, and also the associate illustration director, Amanda Todd. So guys, be honest. Who's more fun to draw, Pam or Crackers? Ooh, 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 say Crackers, say Crackers! It's Pam. <laughs> He's a diva. So here in the illustration department of Archer, we basically take the guidance from storyboards and from the character design and from the script, and then we make it into drawings that are going to be eventually in the show. Uh, we take care of characters and props and basically everything that is moving. We layer things in a specific way so that they can rotate and move like around the wrist and the elbow. Basically, we just draw everything and they're the ones that animate it. We animate in After Effects. One of the awesome things, the pros about that is we can animate very, very quickly because it's a little bit more puppetry style animation sometimes. I'm here with Megan Johnson and Yusuke Sato and they're in charge of the After Effects team, which is where where all the other team's work comes and they make everything make sense all together. So how do you guys make Pam's actions match my voice? We start with storyboards all put together. And then the first thing we do is we pull that into After Effects. That will show us on this timeline what exactly we need to place and what backgrounds are per shot. After that, we pull in the background and we'll place them into the scene. When we first get the characters, we rig them so we will parent like the hand to the forearm and the forearm to the upper arm so that when we move one thing, everything moves together. Um, we also rig the face very complexly to make all the facial expressions work really well. And then we bring that audio in here and we will animate them. We will set keyframes and animate them to the audio that we have. Great, great, great. But how are you going to erase me out of here and just put in the cartoon bird? How, how does that happen? To green screen you out? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we don't do that here. What? I gotta go hire and fire an agent. 